The JDF's assessment is that the youth are featured prominently in the expansion of gangs and gang activity in communities. This is why we are seeking to strengthen our own youth engagement efforts to provide an alternative and positive action path in society for youth to prevent them from being pulled into gangs. Days ago, a 62-year-old farmer in Command Pen District in St. Elizabeth was hit in the head during a heated dispute with another farmer. Two days later, he died. Now, the other farmer, Jerome Reed, aged 37, who is from the same district, is facing a murder charge. The deceased is Travis Powell. Reports from the police are that about 6 p.m. on March 16, Reed and Powell were having a heated dispute, which Reed reportedly used a tool to hit Powell in the head. Powell was later taken to the hospital where he received treatment. However, he succumbed to his injuries two days later. Yesterday, Reed surrendered to the police and was subsequently charged. A court date is being finalized for him, the police said. Every time the Prime Minister do the budget debate and talk about minimum wage, there is a set of people are complaining in the comment section and talk about your own. That minimum wage can't do nothing for people. People are supposed to survive off a minimum wage and them something there. And granted, a lot of the country already understands what minimum wage is, but I realize enough people don't understand. Or, them do know, them just not care, them just need something for complaint more in the comment section for vent. Either way, we're going to talk about it a little bit. Guys, I want you to understand that minimum wage is not a place for grown adults to be with children. Right? Minimum wage is not a permanent state that you should be in. Minimum wage... Is supposed to be something that young adults take part in who probably just left school and have no qualifications and want to make a little money until they sort out themselves. That's what minimum wage is. When I look for raise a whole family off a minimum wage, that's crazy. Come on, people, let's come on, let's let's be honest here, right? Minimum wage is not a place that you can raise a family off. Minimum wage is a starting point. You're not supposed to be there permanently. It's a temporary state for you to be able to just move up from that level, right? So when you come and complain about minimum wage and I say people can't survive off of that, I mean, technically that's true. You're not supposed to be surviving off a of minimum wage in a really make no sense, right? You have to be investing in yourself. You have to develop yourself. That is why when we talk about paying attention in school and continuing to develop yourself even into adulthood, to make yourself more marketable when we're looking for jobs, it allows persons to avoid falling into this minimum wage situation, right? Because look at it this way. If they were to keep raising minimum wage, to, if they raise minimum wage to, to, to high levels, right? Like 30 grand and them something, the way you think that I go do to the economy, that I go mash up the economy. And comparing the prime ministers and the parliament raised to increasing minimum wage, they're raised does not affect the economy as much as raising minimum wage or because there's far more people on minimum wage. You get what I say? So, we okay, can I compare them to them for say, yo, if them can raise, for them pay them off raise minimum wage too. I don't really say it work, right? But I will say this. People need to be intentional about what it is they want out of life and what it is that they're doing, right? Because... At the end of the day, and this is my honest opinion, I don't think anybody really cares about poor people. If you look at it, people only care about people who have things, who have money, who have status, who have power. If you ever notice, when somebody is famous, them they really have to pay for nothing, you know. Them can get things for free, you know. People gear things for free when you have it already, you know. When you have money already, when you're rich, when you're popular, people just gear things for free. Versus when you're quote unquote regular or poor, you have to buy everything. Nobody not really check for you. You get what I say? Like, on a need to be more intentional about what it is when I want out of life and move forward. Because if only things to the government or any government that come save you, um, for you know, you know, you know, money for minimum wage, then you know, out of the mind, to be honest. Right? So, Yes, I can understand the dilemma of enough people because they were dealt a hard hand in life and not everybody did make the best of the opportunities that were presented to them. But at the end of the day, it doesn't mean that you're owed a minimum wage salary that's supposed to help you provide for you and your family because that's not what it's for. You have to invest in yourself and develop a skill or further education in some way 
for being able to compete in the job market. That's just where it is right now. You get what I mean? I say life hard, you know, right? You have to fear yourself a competitive. Nobody know how the time for you to start for nobody nowadays. Everybody I try to get it. Everybody I try to uplift for them family for move forward. All right? So that's just my two cents on this whole um, minimum wage debate. But no, so there will be more um, people complaining about this as time itself exists because people are always just miss the bigger picture of it but it's not a permanent state for you to be it's was always meant to be temporary as a relatively young man me they tell myself say yo any day me have to depend upon the government to take care of my family like bleach will have to wait upon the government to give me something so my youth them can eat me know say me fail as a father me know say me fail as a man i did not do the best that i can do that are the worst place for death if I have to depend upon somebody, if I have to depend upon the government, we can make sure so you pick them sort out. Yo, that can be a nice feeling, I swear. Gunman posing as a goat buyer shot a 50 year old farmer at his home in St. Paul district in Manchester on Sunday afternoon. The farmer has since been hospitalized in serious but stable condition. The police said reports are that sometime in the morning the farmer received several phone calls from someone arranging to purchase goods. Around 1 p.m., a silver Toyota motor car drove up in his yard. Two men who alighted from the vehicle leaving the driver went to the farmer and told him of their intention to purchase a goat from him. The farmer walked to the pen with the men and was in the process of showing them the guns when both bandaged and guns pointed at him and told him not to move. The farmer ran off and the men fired several guns in his direction hitting him on his upper body. The men then escaped in the waiting motor vehicle. The farmer was rushed to hospital. No motive has been established for the attack, the police said.